Good morning, everyone. Thank you for the attending the 2020 FIT Virtual Educational Retreat. While this is technically our 14th year, this is our 13th conference, not counting that year that Hurricane Matthew decided to show up without an invitation. We are all saddened that we could not get together in person this year, but are hopeful that things will be back to normal for next year's conference. For anyone that has not ever met me, my name is Peter Heron Brown. I head Nonprofit Insurance Services, the program administrator for the Florida Insurance Trust. My team is responsible for everything from marketing fit to insurance carriers, underwriting risks, claim adv advocacy and loss control services, along many other services as well. Let's get the housekeeping out of the way first. You'll notice that on your viewing platform, there is a chat window close by. While the speakers are presenting, one of our team members, Justin Wiley, will be watching that chat for questions. At the end of each session, any questions will be answered and asked, so please don't be shy. Additionally, sprinkled in between the sessions will be drawings for prizes handled by our resident patriarch, Doug Childers Sr. If your name is called, Jennifer Lister will reach out to you early next week to coordinate delivery of your prize. We wish everyone the best of luck. We have a great lineup of speakers for you over the next two days. We hope that everyone finds these sessions informative and also entertaining. Our introduction is handled by none other than the chairman of FITS board, Joe Anello. Joe is the president of United Community Options of South Florida. He has been with them for over 40 years and continues to be a great champion, not only for his organization and the population he serves, but for the Florida Insurance Trust as well. We thank him for his endless dedication to both duties and are glad that he is able to kick off our conference. Take it away, Joe. Good morning. Good morning. We, um, as Peter said, are in our 14th year of existence as Florida Insurance Trust in our 13th conference. And uh, obviously we hope everyone is staying safe uh, in this unusual time. The big news this year, of course, is that we're virtual. But the more important news is that there's no casino night. But we do have, as Peter suggested, numerous raffles that we can participate in during the course of our two days. This year, we've had over 150 registrants for our virtual conference, which is just slightly under what we normally get in person. So we're very pleased with that. We're proud to have uh, of what we've accomplished over the last 14 years as the Florida Insurance Trust, keeping our rates consistent and providing you with a complete insurance product. This year, we had in our renewals, which is uh, May 31st of each year, 97% uh, retainage of all of our members in the trust. And this is roughly been the same percentage every year since inception. We're real proud of that and we take that as a sign that people uh, like the, the trust and, and, and count on it. We also actually added new members this year to the trust and we actually signed up more than 50% of everyone we quoted for insurance this year, which I think is a real testament to the fact that people recognize uh, what we are and what we do for the nonprofit organizations in our community. We're at the point now where we can actually be somewhat selective in uh, offering insurance to, to members. This, in fact, when we get to this point, since we're at this point, is that we uh, ben all benefit by that because if there's some organizations that have spotty records that could really affect all of our rates. But we do try to work with them and bring them up to a standard that we're now holding and so that we can write them eventually. I have a little excerpt of a, uh, an article I came across recently about insurance I'd like to read to you. We spend so much of our time making plans for today, tomorrow, for that dream vacation we hope to take someday, for our children's future. But there's an old Yiddish saying, we plan, God laughs. Because while plans are all fine and well, life is a way of messing with them. 
And that's fine too, because there's a safety net. It's called insurance. That's there to catch us when plans go awry. So keep planning for the good stuff, but make sure you're covered when life doesn't go exactly as planned. You can see, I think that pretty appropriate for this um, particular time in our, in our history. So having said all of this, here's to having a great virtual education conference. And here's hopefully to meet again in person next year. And of course, most importantly, have a live casino night.